everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is this apple and plaid nail set so i am pulling in a bunch of red tones for this look here so we've got some sparkles and some matte nails and i'm going to start by doing um this nude color over here from vetsy on all of the nails except one and with this nail set i do have a mixture of stamping and hand painting as well um, I know that some people don't really love stamping. Um, I'm, I'm not sure why. Uh, I love it. I think that it's great for uh, quickness and also for just maybe doing some nail designs that you can't hand paint yourself. I am not great at hand painting. I am practicing and learning and every set that I do with hand painting, I get better and better, but it's not always feasible. Sometimes I just don't know where to even start. So I did use a bit of stamping for this set here. Over here, I am doing this sugar nail here. So I did a glitter gel background just so that if there were any gaps with the um, fine glitter that I was doing on top of, there, it would like fill in the spaces. And here is the stamping plate that I'm using. It's from Clear Jelly Stamper. And I did actually use this plate in the pumpkin spice latte set that I did. Um, that should have been up a couple days ago. So if you missed that, go check that out. I will link it in the cards. Um, but I'm actually just using a different um, image from that one from I think on that one I used, I don't remember which image it was. Was it maybe like the pumpkin um, or something? But for this one, I'm just using the plaid image here. Um, and this is a longer nail, so I'm going to double stamp it. And then I'm going to go in and add some of the red elements for this nail as well, for this plaid here. And I'm using this sparkly stamping polish to match the sparkly gel polish. I thought they went really, really well together and it was a great match. So I love how that came out. And I double stamped this one as well. I just moved, I just did that off camera. And now over here, I'm going to be using this plaid image again. Um, and I'm only going to be stamping half of the nail. So you'll see that I don't cover the whole nail. Um, I kind of go a bit over halfway just so that I can make sure that like it's even but I'm actually going to be removing half of this design. The other half of the nail is going to be a sugar nail as well. So I just did half of it. I didn't really bother too much making it perfect. And now over here, I'm using um, just a brush and some regular nail polish remover and just going to make a clean line and remove half of that design just so that I can give a bit of a duality look to it. And I'm just going in slowly. I don't want to soak my brush too much because I don't want the um, nail polish remover to get onto the other side. I don't want it to like leak anywhere. So I'm just going slowly, perfecting my lines. And then we're going to go in with the glitter afterwards. So using that same um, glittery, shimmery gel polish from Vetsy and going to Fill in the other half of this nail here and then do the sugar like we did on the previous nail. I can definitely start feeling the weather here change. It's a little bit more brisk outside. It's still pretty hot where I live, um, but it is starting to cool down a bit. The breeze is definitely cooler than it is in the summer, which is really, really nice. And we're starting to get into my favorite time of the year and I'm really, really excited. So here's that finished nail. I thought it came out really, really pretty. And next over here, I'm going to be doing some hand painted apples. Um, I wasn't really sure how to go about this. I mean, the idea seemed kind of like basic. So I was just like, what the heck, I'll go ahead and do it. It's kind of like drawing a heart, but instead of tapering the edges and the sides into a point or just keeping it round and I ended up making these a bit larger than I had planned because I kept going in with more gel to kind of like perfect the shape and get it a little bit more perfect but I kind of ended up really liking this like hand-drawn look to it I was thinking about well, while I was doing this that I was thinking about like going apple picking as a kid I've done it a few times when I was a kid and it was just always so cozy and fun and um, it was just definitely a time of memories. I went a few times with um, cousins, a few times I actually went with school. So it kind of like started bringing back this like nostalgic memory of just 
the, this time of year as a child. Um, and definitely as a child, I did not appreciate the beauty of this time of year. I was always so sad to see summer go because, of course, that was always the end of school vacation and the beginning of a new school year, which was always a little bit daunting as a child. But now it's a beautiful time of year and making these um, apples at first I was thinking about starting over and redoing them because I didn't love how that first one came out but as I was doing it and thinking about like this nostalgic childhood I kind of wanted to bring that element into this nail set here because that's just the emotion that I was feeling at the time and when it comes to art you know very often you know you you put your emotion to it and emotion definitely channels art and there was something about this like childlike like it almost looks like a school project in a way um and then i de definitely started to emphasize that in the nail set at first that wasn't the plan but it kind of like ended up being like that and i decided to lean into that design and just kind of bring back this like childhood feeling of starting this new season um i think it came out really cute for what i had in mind um once i've changed once i changed my opinion and change my outlook and change my design and I love this childlike feeling to it it definitely felt nostalgic which is how I was feeling at the time of doing this nail set so I ended up really loving how it came out it wasn't the plan but I am happy that it went in this direction I think it ended up really really cute and now going to throw in these little just using a brown random gel um polish and putting in the stems and once you do that it definitely makes it look more like an apple once you see it you can definitely see the whole vibe and just to add in a little bit more of some detail and texture I am putting on these um, 3d leaves over here I was thinking about bringing in some green into the set for the leaves here but there was something so pretty about this these like 3d leaves that I just wanted to include them here in the set and I thought it added a little bit of extra something to the nails just a little bit of like extra detail extra texture just to add a little more specialness to the nail set and i think it definitely enhanced the whole look and for the last nail here i'm just going to do a very simple um placement of gems and charms here this is uh just like an opal open apple um charm here and throwing on some gold and red rhinestones i didn't want to do anything too um outlandish and out there with this nail set i wanted to keep to the simplicity since the other nails have a lot going on and i really just wanted to bring the nail set together but not be too much so i went with this simpler set and now i am just top coating with a with the a shiny top coat i think i think i went in with a shiny top coat for this one not matte um, yeah, because I wanted like the glittery apples to just kind of like sparkle. Um, so being careful not to go over the leaves, I didn't want to cover up any of the detailing because they are so detailed and textured and pretty and I didn't want to cover any of that up. So just being careful with that and doing this, this like stamped half of the nail here, obviously not going over the glitter side with a top coat and then being careful around the, these gems over here as well. So overall, I am happy with this design. I think it came out really, really cute. It's not what I had in mind initially. I mean, it, it's basically what I had in mind. It just didn't come out exactly how I had envisioned it, but I think it came out really cute in the end. Let me know what you think down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.